After suffering a loss last Saturday to the South, the Heart Indians returned back to their home court to start their first round of the CIF State Playoffs. And their first opponent, the Imperial Tigers of San Diego. Coming right out of the gate, the Tigers were working it in the paint. Naili Cardona finds Sierra Morris for the easy shot off the free throw line. But Hart didn't back down from the challenge. Elise Mitchell nails the corner three with ease. And then soon after, it would be a steal from Mitchell, and the ball would make its way to Morgan Mack, who backs it in for the bank shot. The Indians would grab five points within 20 seconds of play. The Tigers would take the first quarter, but Hart rallied back with the response. Laney Grider sinks the three from downtown, pushing the Indians to take the lead and hold it throughout the second quarter. At the half, Imperial heads to the lockers to find a game plan for the second half. And when they came back, Zayama Cardona nails the turnaround jump shot, giving the Tigers a chance to close the lead. Then Morgan Mack would drive into the paint to put up the difficult one-hander and makes it in. And one. Near the end of the third quarter, Elise Mitchell knocks down another three for the Indians. Mitchell will contribute 17 points just within the second half and collect four rebounds overall. Hart will go on to take the next seat in the second round. And coming back to win on home court is a feeling that many can say is the best. Because we have a big crowd and we have a great support system with the boys basketball team. So it was great to have a big crowd, have a support us and bring up the energy. So it was great to have a home game. As Hart moves on to the second round, the team has matched their all-time season record, a record that has not been touched since 2007. And the team is working on beating that record and making a new mark in Hart history. Reporting from New Hall, this is Kyle Kamoto for Kenya's News.